In this Euro Truck Simulator 2 video, we're doing another grand gift delivery, but this time, we're using the Volvo VNL. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming, and today we're doing another grand gift delivery, and um, I think, uh, let's see, today, hmm, today, what's, it's Wednesday today, is it for us here in Australia? Um, tomorrow must be the, uh, the day for, for the, um, mod reviews to come back. Hmm, very good. Well, today we're doing another grand gift delivery and, uh, we're using the Volvo VNL by, uh, Aradith. So this is a very, very popular truck. So, uh, yeah, I thought we'd give it a go. Uh, it's one of my favorite trucks, uh, for Volvo. So, um, let's get it on the road, shall we? And... First of all, actually, it's pissing down rain, so we got to put up with that. But we were in La Rochelle, and we're going down the A10, onto the A630, 62, and over to Tauloys. Tal Tauli? Tal Tauloys to Loins. Two Loins? Two, li two Loins. Tulees? To Loose. Two Loose! There we are. Too loose. Too loins or too loose. Whichever one you want, I don't care. I've massacred that language for today, so let's get on the road. <laughs> oh, dear. It's always always uh, the, the hard ones I get. Why, why is that? I don't know. Right. Now, on to the road and away we go. This is an awesome truck, this. It's great to drive. It's it's just great all round. It's uh, a very very good mod. It's an older mod, but it's definitely hung around and uh, done the distance. So for many people that have kept up to date with this, and this is available on the Steam Workshop too, guys. If you want to grab it. Um, it's definitely been worth their while. Sorry, let me get the right gear there. Sort of in the wrong gear. Oh. Ah, oh, damn it. I did it again. Ah. Oh, what a donkey. I come out of there and I ran over the, rolled over the line there. Come on, you stupid lights. Go. damn thing. Ah, oh, well. Now, uh, I'm using, because I've got the 18 speed Eaton Fuller, I'm using the uh, range splitter configuration. So, if any of you know what that is in the actual game, uh, basically it allows you to use all the actual gears throughout the all the positions, except for one on... Um, on the actual uh, the, the transmission, so for you know uh, the Logitech steering wheel, uh, I don't know why it just doesn't use that last slot for some reason. I don't know why, but anyway, it's all good. Now um, I got the CB on today. It's fully charged. It's ready to go. Now I have heard that there is an accident on the Gateway Motorway. So, for those of you... Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot about the nose. <laughs> God damn. Oh, my goodness. Real dodginess right there, people. Real dodginess. Real trucker, real dodginess. I tell you what. <laughs> I always have the problems in Euro trucks. I don't know what it is. It drives me bananas. Uh, but yes, there is an accident from what I've been uh, listening to on the CB, the real life CB, that is. Um, and yeah, it's on the gateway. It was pretty nasty, apparently, and everyone's avoiding it. So um, there you go. It's not that information. By the time you see this video, that information's like long gone. It's cleared up and it's no good. So, but anyway. <laughs> Um, hopefully, I'm not getting much signal today for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's a little bit cloudy outside. Not sure. 
but uh, I am looking into uh, aerials that I can put on the outside so um, I'm even looking at making my own see how it goes though I'm looking at cost factor it might be cheaper for me to actually buy uh, one already done and stick it on the outside then run the cord inside or it might be better for me to um, uh, just make one of my own because sometimes you can actually make your own and it is cheaper uh, like I told you about that Pringles can you remember that back when I was a young pup I uh, young fella I made a I needed some Wi-Fi connection and uh, I made a Pringles can aerial antenna so that my mate and I could use uh, to could connect so same sort of thing but for the CB uh, but it's not a Pringles can so yeah but anyway <laughs> imagine that Pringles can antenna on the outside of your car while you're driving along wouldn't that be interesting I'm sure you'd get a lot of comments <laughs> it'd be very interesting oh look there goes that dickhead with the Pringles can again look at him isn't he stupid <laughs> uh, but if you got better reception who would be more stupid mm, huh yes oh, there we go Oh, um, what else? What else? Um, other exciting things. Let's see. Last night I was on the job, so I was working. And I have to say, it was the busiest I have seen the roads in such a long time. There's so many trucks out on the road at the moment. And um, I saw so many car carriers going to Toowoomba. It was unreal. So what's going on up there? Those blokes buying a lot of cars or something. I don't know. It's weird. Um, what else? I was backing into a driveway, right? Um, I had my hazards on. I got in. I'd lined it all up and everything. And uh, there was no cars, you know, no problems or anything like that. And then all of a sudden, as I started backing up into the driveway, because I have to back up uh, into this driveway and up a hill and then into uh, the dock. Now these uh, two idiots were buzzing along and then all of a sudden out of the blue boom, straight behind my truck as I'm backing up the driveway and I had to sort of jam on the brakes because um, you know I would have taken these guys out there and the thing is is I didn't see the second guy because he was uh, tailgating the uh, the guy in front of him which I saw and being that it's uh, at night time you'd think you'd be able to see the headlights well I couldn't see the headlights because he was that far up his ass so um, yeah stupid idiots nearly clean both of them up now uh, a curious question who would have been at fault do you reckon who would have been at fault for that one being that you know one the guy was tailgating two I was actually reversing into private property so it's sort of a grey area there here in Queensland when with private property if you're driving out of a private property uh, you need to be really careful because uh, if you have an accident as you're coming out of the private property it's actually your fault uh, I had an accident um, where I was in a I was in a, a Pantech and um, I was I was actually uh, doing a U-turn, uh, perfectly legal, no white lines, you know, to say that I couldn't do it. But this guy uh, sped out of a public drive, out of a private driveway. Oh, there's the CB now, out of a private driveway, and he he hit the front of my truck. So uh, he was actually at fault and he received um, a, a, a fine as well because the police got involved and he received a fine and yeah he was very very pissed off he was so just a just a warning when you're driving out of a uh, private driveway just be extra careful guys just be extra careful if you're in Queensland that is I don't know about anywhere else in the world just be extra careful anyway all right just be safe to be safe to be safe be safe and not sorry that's the sort of thing you know Ah, um, 
But uh, other than that, yeah, it was just really, really busy last night. Craziness. Absolute craziness. Um, I'm going to take a photo, I think. Just turn around this corner and let that car go past. There we go. And let's take a photo. Do, do, do. Just, just remember, guys, if you want this truck, uh, it is on the uh, Steam Workshop. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? That shot there. That's very nice. It's amazing the photos that you can take in this game. It really is. Not so nice, that one. It's alright. It's alright. But, um... And then you can actually get down low. And I like these ones. When they're down low and uh, up close. Makes it look like a big monster. Looks really cool. Um, yeah, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good last night. Didn't, uh, have a large amount to deliver, so pretty quick. Got back on time. Everything was all good. So that's the main thing with, um, with working for Toyota. They are very, very, very picky at your times. So if you're actually an hour late, they want to know why you're an hour late. Um... And so you got to actually tell them a whole story about why they're late, why you're late. So, bottom line, and this is what I always say bottom line, shit happens. You're on the road. You can't help what the traffic's doing and stuff like that. So, so that's it. And they accept that, actually. I was surprised the first time I did that, they actually accepted it. Went, all right, fair enough, no problem. Um, I pretty much the first time what I said was um, the first time I got questioned about it. Um, I said, "Look, uh, shit happens. Uh, the road was busy, and I'll deliver it when I when I deliver it." <laughs> That's pretty much what I said. I'll do it as fast as I possibly can, and it'll get delivered when I deliver it. And they accepted that, and I'm like, wow, i got to do that more often. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a couple of guys actually uh, went home early last night, so... Not me, though. I'm not the, uh, I'm not the boss's pet, as I like to call them. You know, the ass lickers, the ones that always get what they want, even though it's not right. Yeah, those guys. Yeah, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not one of those guys. I'm a basically, I'll tell you how it is, and that's it. <laughs> ah. Well, exciting. Tomorrow is going to be the first mod review for 2018. Now, I know a couple of people have said that I'm a little bit behind. Well, I had a look. I'm not really. Not really. Not much as, not, uh, as much as what I thought had, has come out. So... I'm, I'm thinking now that uh, American Trucks and Euro Trucks is getting back into being a little bit more popular, maybe more mods will come out. Don't know. Hopefully it'll be a bit more... Um, American Trucks and Euro Trucks will be a bit more popular than last year. Because last year, I think a lot of people left American Trucks and Euro Trucks alone because not much was going on. And people are... You know... Um, people are pretty quick to jump ship when something's not going the way they want it to so but now since there's a whole heap of new stuff there's a lot more people I've noticed coming in so pretty cool and I changed that uh, display there what have we got I had some nice scenery over there it's very nice Volvo, gauges, uh, whatever, it doesn't matter really, they're all all the same, aren't they? Pretty much. Nothing really flash on the on this Volvo display. Which is a bit of a shame. Now, I'm gonna jump in that lane because it's meant to be Oh no, that's we Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah, yeah nah. 
That's the sort of thing we want to do. Yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Ah, oh, it's a nice cruise. Um, what number are we up to? I think this is number three. Number three in tier two. So that's going to be really cool. Only another three more days to go. So Saturday, Saturday we'll be doing uh, the the last one. Saturday or Sunday? I'm not sure because I'm actually um, getting back into um, uh, this weekend. I'm, I'm going back to my brother-in-law's place to work on the 86. You know my uh, Toyota Sprinter. So we're getting back into that now. So I'm going to try and do uh, another one of these for Saturday, but I may only just get a mod review done. So we just have to wait and see. See what happens. Um, but yeah, that's that's all good. If, if I only get a mod review, we've still got plenty of time to do these grand gift deliveries, which is a good thing three more that's all we have to do now uh, just a reminder this does finish on the 21st uh, SCS did a blog post this morning uh, stating that there is basically only a little bit of time left so don't leave it too late so just a little reminder guys just so you know and if you haven't done the um, if you haven't got to tier two, well that's that's okay. I mean tier one's fine. You can only do what you can do. I mean I've noticed that a lot of people that uh, generally hang around junior senior gaming have actually got the tier two. So congratulations to all those people. I think a whole heap of people just buckled down and went crazy. which is really good there we go cruising on 90 let's have a look on the outside this is definitely one of my favorite Volvo mods this one I've I've liked this for a long long time and uh, Aerodith does a wonderful job on this mod. He really does. Now, you like my mud flaps? They got their sexy chick on there. Also got it on the side there as well. You can't see the sticker though. See, oh, there you go. This is CB again. You can't see the stick. Yeah, don't know, mate. Didn't hear that. You can't see the sticker on the actual um, the inside though, can you? You can see it on the outside when we jump on the outside. Sounds sounds like. Hang on listening for that CB. Sounds like there's a bit of trouble on the highway there. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like some blokes getting cut off. That's what it sounds like. Some cars, you know, or somebody's upset him, somebody's cut him off, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, the, unfortunately, with the little aerial that I have, it doesn't pick up everything, everything, so you only get, like, half a conversation sometimes. Actually, you know what it is a lot? It's uh, the caravanners and the truckers have a lot of problems. That's what it is a lot. Um, I'm not saying that all caravanners, you know, cause problems. I'm just saying that the some of the caravanners, you know, cause truckers uh, problems. So there we go. But uh, you know, it's just part of the road, really. You just got to you give 
you got to give people space and if you don't give people space then you know you cause problems simple as that oh it's nice out here be good if I had air conditioning though I'm bloody sweating my ass all out <laughs> it's hot as uh, they got air conditioning upstairs but uh, not downstairs so I should get that fixed I really should right how many we got 42 kilometers to go 42 kilometers isn't much just a basically a hop skip and a jump so we're almost there and that will be number three out of our deliveries very good actually that GPS that's in this truck here is actually a lot better than um, other trucks you can actually I don't really need to have that there do I the gauges are clear you can read them properly it's even got miles and kilometers conversion for you which is very good right so slowing down and then we got a turn up here as well I should have probably got in that lane over there I'm going to go behind this car and turn. Nothing there, good. That's all good. We made it. And there is our destination. Tau loose. Loose, loose towel. Towel, well, I don't know. Too loose? I think that's what it is. Too loose. Man, she's too loose. Wow. That's something you wouldn't have thought you'd heard on a, on a YouTube video, would, was it? Terrible. I'm going to keep it in this gear as we go up now I am speeding so yeah I got to slow it down 50 it's better for the higher revs anyway we probably should have geared down anyway there we go almost at the destination and 90 along here see I'm a little bit uneasy around see this it's so tight through here I'm a little bit uneasy about that let me just take up two lanes it's all good nobody was there and just down here yep yeah, that trailer's fine and nobody coming so there we go we can go around and I'm going to take up both lanes as well and it's in here Ugh. am I going to be able to get that trailer yeah I should I should be able to get that trailer there we go alright let's have a look where do they want us to park it? All the way down the back? Not a problem. We can do that for you. And 
let's see. Oh, it looks like we've got a fair bit of area back here. So it should be, should be not too hard. See if we can get that a little bit straighter. Oops, I hit the wall. Ah, these things happen. Oh, that's right. Reverse is down here. Other end of the tree. Get down in there, you son of a... Beep, 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 beep. Uh, so I'm just going to back this up to get the tail straight. Get the back end of the trailer. And then we will uh, see like that. And then I can straighten it up. Let's try and wiggle that over a bit more. Is it going to give it to me? No, it's not. Oh, yes it is. There we go. It's going to give it to me. And it's pretty, pretty cocked. Oh, look at that. It's sort of... Oh, that, yeah, let's straighten that up, shall we? I know. Ah, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's just got to be a better example for you guys, really. And let's ah oh, reverse other side, other side of the tree. Well, it's not actually on the tree; it's on the floor, isn't it? So, there we go. Now that's a little bit better. There we go. Look at that. That's a lot better, isn't it? Very good. All right. Well, I'll we'll drop that. Down it goes. Bading. And there is another excellent. Very, very good. All right. Well, let's go continue. There we go. And <coughs> There we go, it's already kicked over. Three of six in tier two. So, almost finished, guys. Almost finished. Right, well, look, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this drive in the uh, Volvo, the VNL. Just going to turn that off for a second. There we go. Um, look, this is a, a fun truck to drive. Um, if you want to get it, uh, as, again, go over to the uh, Steam Workshop and just click on the su subscribe button. Just in the search, Volvo VNL and Aradith's one will come up first. So, should do. Um, and it's, yeah, very good mod. Very, been around for a long time and it's still good. Still good. But, uh, look, that's pretty much it for me, guys. Look, tomorrow will be a mod review. We'll be doing the first mod review for... Uh, 2018 what will it be well you just have to wait and find out because I'm not gonna tell you no way <laughs> well that's it for me today guys look if you like this video then don't forget to punch that like button in the ass and if this is the first time you've seen Junior Cine Gaming then make sure you head on over to the Junior Cine Gaming channel on YouTube and check it out and while you're there why don't you hit that subscribe button but until next time, don't forget to keep the shiny side up and the greasy side down, and I'm 1010 on the side. And remember, game on.